Guys, welcome back to The Outer Worlds, episode 2. Uh, so, in the previous episode, we were in this ship and I think we're trying to repair it. So, we need to go to Edgewater, which is down there and it's saying it's 200 meters away. I don't really want to run that distance. Um, also, I haven't been able to upload this um, very frequently at this stage because I've been a little bit busy doing some other things on the side, such as trying to build up my Instagram. Oh, this guy looks like he's... Oh shit. Oh no, there's three of them. Yo! They run at you so quick. <laughs> oh! I feel like the Matrix right now. Just dodging. <laughs> Take that. Oh. Oh, headshot! <laughs> he just went down like a sack of potatoes. Uh, what's, what happened to these guys? Uh, alright, let's just keep moving on. I think we can actually loot them, uh, let's see what they got. Cartridge, light ammo. I don't really know what I can do with all this stuff just yet, so... Might just keep moving forward. I'm really keen to check out what's at Edgewater. I think that's where the game starts really getting into it. This game has got so much good reviews, I actually really want to play it. It's one of those games that I think you got to play it slowly and you just can't rush it, so you enjoy every bit of it. It's made by Obsidian and they're known to be quite good. Um, so yeah, what I was saying before was I have been a little bit busy with Instagram. Alright, let's just see what this guy wants first. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Um... So it kind of seems like a side mission type thing. I think I'm just going to keep moving. So yeah, I've been talking to a few of you guys on Instagram and it's been really good to reach out to you guys. I want to say thank you for following me and thank you for showing support. It really goes a really a long way. And it's it's been really nice to be able to get in touch with people who subscribe to this channel and it just humanizes the experience a little bit more and just makes it that extra bit more enjoyable so thank you guys for talking to me um, I really appreciate the feedback you guys have been giving as well and yeah just thank you guys just for the support it really really goes a long way and I hope that you know this gameplay is entertaining for you guys <laughs> I know there's other youtubers out there that are quite big so just any support I can get right now it's it's just really awesome thank you guys so much Check out this place. <laughs> Check out the music. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Monkey Argo. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You must be the town boss. I'll wait till you're finished. Uh, I don't have time for that. <laughs> he looks like a boss. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I think you may have the wrong idea about me, uniform. Uh, what are you talking about? Shirt, pants, work boots, company approved colors, the uh, honorable apparel of a loyal worker. Loyal? Uh, let's skip the small talk. Yeah, let's get straight into it, man. Don't have time for this. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Yeah, sure, let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district 
over to us. Once their power's shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Uh, Mostly abandoned. Okay, so there's definitely going to be enemies there. Uh, let's just... I want to know a little bit more about this. The geothermal plant was built by our owners. Spacer's choice. Lit up the whole Vale once upon a time. Most of the Vale is now abandoned. All that power is going to waste. Hmm. Can you send one of your own people up to the plant? Uh, want all that power going up to you? Alright, uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, let's see why they want to send me. Why do they want to send me? I'm afraid I can't spare the workers. We're strapped for bodies as it is. And there is a small element of personal danger. Personal danger? What? Marauders. Bloodthirsty lunatics. A lot of them. Ah, uh, they're the guys that we've been taking out. Uh, I'm not afraid of them. I appreciate your gallantry. You deserve my honesty, and so I will be plain with you. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Hmm. Uh, yeah, they're not going to be happy if I just walk in there. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Okay. Uh, just tell me what to do, man. I'll do it. He seems a bit dodgy. Look at the way he's looking at me. <laughs> uh, is that intimidating or what? My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Sure, I can't make any promises, but I'll do what I can to help you out. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Yeah, sure, I could use the company. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. You're damn sure. Alright, let's get going. Ooh. Uh, new companions. They are characters who can join you in adventures. Provide combat support. That'll be good. Skills can enhance your skills. Yes, thank you. Uh, carrying capacity. I'm not too sure what we'll be carrying just yet. You can unlock special companion combat abilities. Okay, that kind of ties in with the first point. Uh, Alright, let's keep going. I wonder if you can command her to attack someone. Or if she just joins in when I start a fight. Uh, we'll find out. Alright, let's go. Does she follow? Some people may require completing... Hmm. Alright, let's go. Ah, uh, she's following. She in? Are you gonna get in? Alright, let's just go. I think she'll get in. Whoa! Oh yeah, she's in. <laughs> so we need to go to the labs. Something I'm noticing as well, that this game sort of... Um, the frames are not very smooth. Hey, Mister, can we talk? Sorry. Can we talk? Uh, yeah, sure. What do you want to say? It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. 
Uh, yeah, it seemed pretty straightforward, but I knew there was always going to be a catch. Let's see, hear about it. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. And... How do you know this? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Um... I'm not too sure what her point is, so... What? Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, mister. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Yeah, that's a good point as well, right? Like, if you don't want to put someone in a bad position. I know it's just a game, but personally, I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> Alright, so let's go talk to him. Alright, we'll stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Alright, so the game's making you try and choose between right and wrong. The guy at the top though, he seemed very dodgy the way he was looking at me and wanted me to do a job for him. Uh, I don't know you yet buddy, but I'm going to get into what you want to do. She's coming. Come on. You're going to fight for me. <laughs> Uh, any any help I can get for a fight, I'll take it. Because I don't know if you watched episode 1. I'm really not that great at this game in fighting yet. <laughs> I love how they've really thought out these screens. Uh, the little loading screens as well. It's, it, makes, it really makes the game feel like it's been very well thought out. And there's been... Like, every angle of the game seems like it's been deliberately artistically created and I really like that and I think that's what Obsidian is really known for so like look at all this it's like a whole world it's not a full RPG game I don't think I think that it's sort of like it loads you into a place and then that place is sort of what you're working off uh, this guy looks like he's gonna attack me oh he's got some armor on Oh, she's shooting, yes! Oh, she's a good shot as well! You can shoot, I'll just sit over here. Oh, sh crap! Alright, so we're about 100 meters away. And I haven't died. I've sort of been just been sneaking around those marauders. <laughs> Yo, I need one of those. How do I get that? Order yours today. Wait, isn't that the gun I already have? Man, this gun sucks. I don't want it. Maybe you can, like, upgrade it or later on, but, like, I feel like it's doing no damage. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. So, I found botanical labs. Yeah. Go ahead and ignore the lady with the gun. Uh, 40 meters away. These guys seem like they're just chilling out, like they're just doing their oh, own thing. That's he used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Alright. Let's see what this place is about. See so see what I mean? Like this the obsidian has really just thought everything through. Everything's so like well oh, put out. It's so pretty. There she is. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. 
Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Uh, Reed sent me to make peace with you. Uh, yeah, sure. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? He wants you to go back. Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Uh, I don't want to say that I'm going to cut off your power. I feel like they're just going to sort of swarm me if I say that. Uh, he's told me to divert power over to him. He would do such a thing. The question is... Why would you agree to his plans? Uh, I'm just going to keep that to myself. Actually, maybe she can help me out to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. <laughs> I like how they were trying to, you know, uh, f fight you off with that guy. Like, you know, it's either a hero or you're like, you know, you're some villain if you help that other guy out. Um, I feel like the, I feel like the guy back at Edgewater was a little bit of, of um. He seemed a little bit shady to me. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Is that it? All right. Let's go to the master control. There's also that V car guy. Hmm. Let's just go to the power plant. I have no idea how to get there though. Yo, what is that? Check that out. That is sick. There's so much thought that's been put into the game. I wonder if we can get like a weapon anywhere here. What's this? Use terminal. No. Maybe we can go to the power plant through here? What is this? Heavy ammo and an axe. Yo, I just stole it. <laughs> I don't know how to change my loadouts. Oh wait, no, that's my health. I wonder if there is a map? Oh, weapon management? Let's see what we got. Is this the same thing? Yeah, it's the thing, it's the same thing. What? I have that, and I got an axe, <laughs> I like it, I like this game a little bit more now. Alright, I'm going to come back to all this, I don't really have much yet. Hmm, so, I want to get to there, but you got to go all the way out again. Alright, let's do it.
Guys, if you've been watching uh, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare series, I want to say thanks for your time. Uh, I know a lot of these videos are very lengthy, and if you guys have been sticking around and supporting this channel, uh, it really means a lot to me. You guys are awesome. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this game, The Outer Worlds, if you th think you're going to play it, or if you've already played it, or if you're currently playing it. Check that out, that looks sick. It's like a little spaceship. Um, oh, what's this? Sentry. Also, I'm best reached on Instagram. I've always wanted to poke around in here. Let's try and turn this off. No, there's no way to turn that off. Maybe we can go through here. Oh, what? There's someone dead in there? Ooh. What is that? Oh, this is a weapon. That thing is like a... It's like a little walking tank and I'm out of bullets. I wonder if I can axe it. Whoa. Whoa, that took down some life. Alright. I think I'm gonna not try and shoot in order to not get attention. Oh, another sentry. Whoa! Combat drone! I don't think I'm equipped for this. I think I'm gonna run out of bullets. Oh, no. Oh, there's another one? Alright, I'm gonna get the axe. Oh, man. Damn. Alright, I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, let's leave it there because um, this video is getting a bit lengthy and I don't want to make it too lengthy. Uh, otherwise, you, just, you guys are just going to get too bored. <laughs> uh, my gameplay so far for this is really terrible. I'm really sorry if you guys have been watching this. It's probably really annoying for you guys. Uh, if you did watch it, I want to say thanks for your time. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys want to reach out, I'm best reached out on Instagram. Um, I've been talking to a few of you guys uh, recently as well. And it's it's been really great. The support you guys are showing it really means a lot. It goes a long way. You guys are awesome. And yeah, I hope you guys stick around and watch episode 3. Alright, take care guys. Bye.